All right, let's talk about uh, Dave Filoni. He's probably the most influential person in Star Wars. As much as he credits Lucas, a lot of the stuff, in my opinion and a lot of other fans' opinions, is, if not the direct result of Dave, it's related to Dave somehow that he got that boat in, in motion. What we need to figure out is how does Moff Gideon get his hands on the Darksaber, like we've seen in the last scenes of season one of The Mandalorian. We know that stuff, and we know the earlier history of the Darksaber from Rebels. So between what we know and what we know, we've got to get there somehow. And one of the in-betweeners there is Bo-Katan. She's a 12-inch doll, essentially, like this, uh, geared more towards girls. Very beautiful sculpts, well done. The Clone Wars book, where Ahsoka first shows up, is a Dark Horse comic. The only thing that is canon in that, as far as story arcs go, is Son of Death Mirror. And then you have what they call the animation cell variants, which were the Those one in ten. Real cool. We asked some of our friends and some of the people that we know to send in a couple questions. Hey guys, I thought Task Force 99, also known as Special Commando Advanced Recon, or shortly as SCAR, but basically they are an elite Imperial Stormtrooper squad that were clones. The first appearance of Task Force 99 is Star Wars 19. Can I get some clarity? Are these guys the comic book iteration of the Bad Batch? If not, what's the difference? Also, what books and arcs are must-haves for their story? Any explanation and help would be greatly appreciated. Great question. Yeah, it is. It is. It is.